Hello everyone, welcome to this module. In this module, we're gonna be getting started with the Nmap scripting engine. Now the Nmap scripting engine is where things start getting really, really exciting, primarily because we're now dealing with enumeration at a deeper level or a much more detailed level. And uh, yeah, so let, let, let's get started in this video. I'm just gonna be introducing you to the Nmap scripting engine. In the next set of videos within this module, within this very short module, I'll introduce you to the basic syntax, the functionality, uh, what you can do with it. And then in the later modules, we'll get started with, uh, you know, service specific enumeration. So first of all, what is the Nmap scripting engine? This is going to be the burning question on your mind right now. So the Nmap scripting engine is an extremely versatile and useful tool that is a core part of Nmap and allows users to write their own scripts and automate various types of scans. So you might be saying, well, could you elaborate a little bit further? Well, of course I can. And I can do this by going to the nmap.org website and going under the book and nsc.html, where it has a fantastic introduction to the to what the Nmap scripting engine is and how it can help you perform enumeration, service enumeration, vulnerability analysis, so on and so forth. All right, so again, it tells you here, and the Nmap scripting engine is one of Nmap's most powerful and flexible features. That is exactly true and allows users to write and share simple scripts to automate a wide variety of networking tasks. Now, the type of tasks you can perform or the types of scans you can perform are listed here. We can perform network discovery. We can uh, perform more sophisticated version detection scans. Uh, we can perform vulnerability detection. We can also perform backdoor detection and vulnerability exploitation. Now, I'll be explaining uh, all of this and how to, to differentiate between all of this in a short while. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to cover a few important aspects of the Nmap scripting engine and Nmap scripts in general. Number one, every Nmap installation comes preloaded or pre-configured or pre-packaged with, N with, uh, with Nmap scripts, right? Nmap scripts that are that, that are part of the Nmap uh, the Nmap scripting uh, engine uh, database, and you can find these scripts under the user share Nmap. And if we click on scripts directory and hit enter, you can find them directly in here. So these are all your Nmap scripts that allow you to perform uh, or, or automate particular scans. And again, these, these are used for, uh, you know, for performing broadcast scans. They're used for performing vulnerability detection, uh, backdoor detection, so on and so forth. There's tons of functionality here and they're all sorted alphabetically. Now, the key thing you need to take a look at here is the uh, is the extension, which in this case is going to be NSC. And when you write your own Nmap scripts, they must have the NSC extension to be used by the Nmap scripting engine. So in other words, the Nmap scripting engine allows us to use scripts to automate you know, particular scans. And without the Nmap scripting engine, we would not be able to use uh, particular scripts to automate scans. So that's a very simple way of explaining what the Nmap scripting engine is and why it's so useful. Now, the second or third question that might be on your mind is, all right, I see the scripts, I understand what the scripting engine is. Uh, what language or scripting language are these scripts written in? And to answer that, we can take a look at one. But before we do that, I just want to say that Nmap scripts are written in the Lua programming or scripting language. And you might be thinking, huh, Lua? Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. That's perfectly fine. It's very simple to understand and to get started with, especially when you take a look at the various Nmap scripts in the Nmap scripts directory, you'll be able to learn about how to use the scripting or programming language, and uh, you'll be able to write your own scripts. We will be having an introductory uh, module to writing your own, uh, your own Nmap scripts. Um, so again, to take a look at a script, we can use a text editor like Vim. And uh, let's say I want to look for a particular script based on a protocol or a service. In this case, we're looking for, uh, let's say I'm looking for an HTTP uh, script. In my case, I can use, I can pipe the output out to grep and then I can say, uh, you can use the expression and I'm looking for all scripts with the expression HTTP and I hit enter and we have tons of them. So uh, I'm looking for, let's see, can we find the HTTP enum script, which uh, the HTTP enum script allows us to perform, um, it allows us to perform enumeration on web servers. So again, I can then use the, um, the previous command here and go, uh, I can just get rid of this and, uh, I can then use something like Vim 
to make changes to this and then I can uh, finally just go to the end here and I paste the file name in there and I hit enter and this is the HTTP enum script and it's written in the Lua programming language. All right, so this is a great way of learning how to program in Lua and how to create your own Nmap scripts in the event you need to. As I said, Nmap scripts are used to, for very particular types of scans and based on the the actual documentation here, you can see they are based on, you know, vulnerability detection, backdoor detection, and very specific service-based scans, right? So in this case, you can see we this is an HTTP only uh, script, which means you can only run this on a, on, a, on a web server or a target that has the port 80 or port 443 open. So again, you can see there's some variable declaration here. And then at the bottom we have uh, the essential uh, the essential the, the, the essential code here where you have all the functionality and um, you can go through it and try and understand it as best as you can if you already have experience with the lua programming language then it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't take any any time for you to actually start writing your own nmap scripts um, however, before we do any of that, we need to understand how to use the scripting engine. So that's going to be the end to this introductory video to the Nmap scripting engine. In the next set of videos, we'll take a look at the syntax, how to run uh, scripts, how to run multiple scripts. And we'll also talk about various important bits of functionality like the script, uh, the script categories, so on and so forth. So that's going to be it for this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.